what's up guys my name is Saurav and this is my youtube channel data science novice if you are new to my youtube channel please do like and subscribe your efforts are massively appreciated so this video is an introductory video to what we are going to do and how we are going to proceed in our project so let's get started so first we are going to talk about Kaggle it is a place where data scientists across the globe collaborate on different projects it is built on the same idea as Quora or Facebook, but it serves a different community. The speciality about Kaggle is that here one can find data sites ranging from healthcare domain to finance domain. And not only that, it also provides the computational power to do the, these kind of projects that cannot be done in your regular machines. So if you are not on Kaggle, go ahead and create an account. And here I have my Kaggle account open in my machine. And this is how the Kaggle interface looks like. So let's explore it a little bit. So if I click on my photo, it will take me to my profile. So this is how my profile looks like to other Kagglers. Few things here. If you have participated in any competition, your rank will be shown here just like mine. Okay, so next we have data set. If you have submitted any kind of data set to the Kaggle, it also get ranked. And next we have Jupyter Notebooks will be shown here. And next we have when we make any comment on any discussion forum, it will be shown here. So next is the competition tab. So here you get a list of all the competition you have been doing and their respective rank. In my case, I am only one. Next is data set. So here we get list of all the data set uploaded by us. And that in my case, I have only three. Okay, next is all the notebook is shown here. Like in my case, I have done this, ma this many notebooks. And then we have same discussion forum where we comment on others Kaggler notebooks. And if you just want to go back to your feed, you just have to click on this Kaggle and it will lead you to your feed. So now let's talk about the project. It's an NLP project in which we are supposed to build a model that can classify between fake news and true news. And the data set is so huge that it cannot be trained on regular machine. So that's why for our purposes, we will be using Kaggle notebooks. Okay, so let's get to the data set. And to do that, we just have to type fake news on search console. And just click on the first link. And here we have our data set. So if you want to read about it, you can read about it. And here is a little description about what we have in this data set, like number of rows and number of columns. And we have two data set, fake and true. And if we click on the notebooks, we get the notebook of other Kaggler who have done the same project. Just click on any notebook and you will be able to see what others have done. So next we have discussion, which is I have already talked about. You just see that people are discussing. So how do we create our own Jupyter notebook? It is very simple to do that. We just have to click on new notebook and new window will be pop up in which we it will be asked whether we want to do it in Python or R. We are going to go with Python and click on create and this will create a new Jupyter notebook for us. So let's name this notebook as fake news detection. So here is the first cell. We already have NumPy and Pandas imported. We just have to run this cell. So let's press shift enter to run this cell. So that's all for this video. In the next section, we will learn to upload and visualize the data. Till then, bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next section.